debating right now whether you want to buy a classic Ferrari like this, like the 328, or something a little bit newer from Marinello, and you're really not sure which way to go, what's going to be the better car for you, well, let me give you a little bit of food for thought on that topic. You're probably only going to look at a classic like this car here if this is something that you grew up with in the first place. So was this car on your wall as a teenager? And it's probably going to be in the running as one of the cars you want to have. Or you're going to be looking at this kind of car and maybe something even more exotic as an investment opportunity. So that's probably the first reason why you would consider a classic. Of course, if you want a Ferrari for its high technology, then you're not going to be buying a classic, all right? You're going to be buying something that's definitely newer. Uh, any of the uh, new ones coming out of Marinello now are going to make a lot of sense. But of course, buying a classic like this, you're going to be pretty disappointed if you have other friends that are that are driving around in newer cars and you show up with this uh, analog uh, oldie, then I wouldn't go this direction. Of course, if you're buying one of these cars because of prestige, yeah, uh, either a classic or a newer one, it doesn't really matter. You're still driving a Ferrari. Uh, you're still going to feel very special in it. You're going to get a lot of looks when you drive something like this. So either way, it doesn't really matter if you want a, a classic or something new, whatever works for you. So if you're not sure whether the performance of a classic car is going to make you happy or not, let me give you some food for thought as well. Because these cars are very analog, so analog gearbox, typically no power brakes or power steering, they feel very outdated, uh, they're more work to drive. And that translates into uh, a car that feels like it's going faster than it really is. The numbers on these cars, of course, are not outstanding uh, anymore to any of the modern cars, especially not the newer modern Ferraris. Um, but when you get it onto a road, uh, a proper road, like where I live, they feel fast. And that really does make the experience on par, in my opinion, to any of the newer cars. And of course, the newer cars, you really can't use the performance of those cars on any of, this, on any of the roads, or else you're gonna probably lose your license. So think of a, a classic car as a means to get out and really enjoy the car in a speed where you're not going to all of a sudden find you you no longer have your driver's license but you're going to really enjoy and you're going to experience what it's like to be in a performance car with speeds that are going to be for example in 100 120 kilometers per hour on this kind of road it's going to feel fast all right so think about that if you're not sure which way to go of course you want to get out and try the two different cars Ultimately, if you can afford both, you can afford a new one and a classic, get both. But my opinion is, don't rule out a classic until you really have had a chance to try it. And of course, when they sound like this, feel like this, this is the perfect experience. I'd give you a little bit more ammunition when you're trying to figure out what way to go, either classic or newer Ferrari. If you have any other questions, by all means, put them in the chat. Definitely there to help out. If you like what I'm uh, sending out there, by all means, subscribe as well. I'm going to put more content out there. There's going to be a video coming up shortly on living with this particular car here, the 328, which I think is probably the best Ferrari to have. Uh, as your first Ferrari or period as this car is really one of the best ones to live with. So until then, take care. Thanks for watching.